Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. So today I have a Michael's grab bag video. I didn't think I'd be doing another one of these so soon, but I actually stepped into Michael's with Ari to pick up some Halloween stuff. Yeah, give me my bird. Is that your bird? Yeah. Are you gonna give it a kiss? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. A kiss, sir. <laughs> and there they were in all of their glory. So I love doing these. If you don't know what Michael's grab bags are, they do them at the end of every major season or holiday after things have gone on their last sale. So whether it's 80% or if your store does even more, then they go into a clearance and if they don't sell on clearance then they get put into bags or boxes and the this is random they don't really send out a notice if you're in the store cool and you get what you can find so i found quite a few i got this big old box and then i have a bunch of bags and i do have things that were just sold as four dollars so let me start with the little itty bitty bag if this is the first time that you've ever heard of grab bags, you can't use coupons with them. You can't return anything that's in them. It's like the most affordable mystery box. So I always get them and whatever I don't like for my home, I donate. Yay! So the first item I got with it was this letter. Am I gonna use it? No. So this is probably gonna be for donation, but I did love these when the, these were in stores. This was originally $18. 18 US dollars, 26 Canadian dollars. If it was shaped differently, I would probably use it like a fake horseshoe above my door, but I can't do that. So hopefully somebody with a U will be enjoying this when I do donate. Next item is this Adventure is in my soul sign. This is part of their boho collection. So this was 12 US dollars, 16 Canadian. It has that really pretty metallic on the back. And this isn't real wood, so you can always, even if it was real wood. But this reminds me of the Dollar Tree signs. It's just paper printed on here. You can remove it. I don't think I'm gonna use this. It's probably gonna go into my donate pile. Still a really cute sign if you do have a boho theme going on. Really cool to receive it in a $4 bag. I have a silicone mold summer outdoor decor. If you follow me on TikTok, I took these molds. I actually ended up using the Dollar Tree ones, which you're not supposed to, but I ended up melting crayons down into this and making like really cool shaped crayons. And I also ended up making little wax melts from candles that I didn't that I couldn't burn down. So these are good for that and for making your own soap, your own body butters, a bunch of stuff. This is originally five US dollars, seven Canadian. And oh, okay, there's two things in here. This is a sticky catch set outdoor activity fun. Cool. So this is something for Aria to play with. It is US three dollars, Canadian five. And if I don't keep it for Aria, then I will definitely be donating it in my Christmas donation stash, which is in my garage and piling up quickly. So thank goodness Christmas is around the corner. Now we're gonna move on to the box and then we'll do the other bags. The bags are way bigger items. So in this box, the first item is this letter board. This is actually one of the heavier letter boards that I have, that I like have encountered black and bright pink, which I love, very Betsy Johnson. It doesn't have the original, pro yes it does. 15 bucks US, 22 Canadian, and it brings 326 characters, so that is pretty cool. There's another sign in here, so this one is $10, 14 Canadian, life is better with friends. This was also part of their boho collection. I got this Love What You Do, and I was eyeing this for a while. This was on clearance, but I couldn't really justify it. This does not have a price. It does look like a price tag, though. So let's see if we have another big item in here, because everything else looks like floral. I got some tea lights. You can never have enough tea lights. These are six US dollars, nine Canadian. You can get tea lights at Dollar Tree so much cheaper. So the fact that it's in the box is kind of nice. I have another set as well. And as I can see in this box, there is just floral. So Michael's floral is actually pretty expensive, so this is pretty nice. This was $10. The smaller ones are two. 
some of them are four dollars and I have one. I'll add them up all at the end, but I don't want to make this video unnecessarily long. One, two, three, four, five. This one's really cool. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, you know what? How about I add this up after I... Oh! I actually found an item that isn't floral in here, and it is Recollections Glitter. I love me some glitter, and this is in the shade Blueberry. It is five US dollars, eight Canadian. And remember, these prices, I'm giving you the original prices. I can't give you a breakdown of what they are with coupons. I know everybody uses coupons at Michael's, but you know what's up. So everything else is just a bunch of floral and I'm actually really happy about it because all of the floral goes together and now that I have the playhouse I can always put it on her planter box or just use it for giant wreaths for my own house. Even though if y'all have been with me for a long time you know that I look like a flower lady because I have tons and tons of flowers of, in buckets and boxes. <laughs> Who's a hoarder? Not me. Mm -mm. Box number, I mean bag number two and this one is huge all right so these are bigger we're not going to spend two hours on these this is more of like those little tiny sets so this is more like to make fairy gardens this is originally 20 bucks canadian 30 canadian dollar canada i'm so sorry this is super duper cute if you have an outdoor garden even though i don't think this should be outdoor i don't know Oh my goodness, this is adorable. It's a little tree trunk. This is for sure is for fairy gardens. Does it have an original price? It does not, but I'm pretty certain that it is in, within that same $20 and up price range because this is really hefty. I have more tea lights. I see another one in here. I have, I actually bought this on clearance, so I'm a little, ah, but hey, what can we do? So this is originally 10 bucks. 14 Canadian and this is the push. I want to say I got the pull if I didn't then that's totally cool, too I got some really cool slides some fresh slides. They're hot pink and they're a size 8 9 This is going to be donated as well. They're originally eight bucks Canadian $12 12 Canadian dollars. I really need to work on my delivery a little bit better. And then this little plant is so cute. I've seen on Instagram that people have been finding these for a few cents. This is originally 20 bucks. It doesn't say Canadian price, but um, I would not spend $20 on this originally, but I do love it. It's so cute. And I'm glad it was part of a grab bag because my store definitely didn't have things like this on clearance for a few cents. There's a little, another little garden thing, and this one says homemade. So this one says six US, nine Canadian. So now I know how much the other one costs. And then I have a little explore rock. So this will go in my garden, AKA Aria's Playhouse Garden. And this is originally $6, $9 Canadian for a rock, but not knocking anybody's hustle then i have a little tiny garden gnome he's so cute so tiny treasures mini embellishments y'all know i love garden gnomes he has a little welcome sign and he was originally six bucks nine canadian moving on to the next ah so i have this really really pretty i love things like this for staging like youtube videos and stuff so this was eight dollars 12 canadian it's a kitchen towel and I love the print, pretty neutral. Then we have, ooh, I almost took that out roughly, it's glass. I don't know what they did here. Oh, okay. So I have this thing, which I, this terrarium type thing, and this does not have a price, but then the little house planters this one was 12, 16 Canadian, and I have a ton of plants, so this is gonna come in real, real handy. Um, and then I have another one, which is originally 12 uh, US, 16 Canadian. Moving on, we have a lot more stuff. What did I do? We have one more bag and then just the big item, so. Bear with me, what what did I do? A lot of this stuff is going on donation, guys. I do not live in a giant house. All of these things are not just 
so I see more floral. Ooh, fun! It's not just floral, it's an actual arrangement. Michael's arrangements are super expensive. So this was originally 50 bucks, and I think this could be used for fall as well. These, these are like a nice fall color, and if you don't want to use them, you can always just remove this and redo these, this little thingy. So that's really nice. I'm super psyched I already saw what this is. It's the little like muffin tin things. These were 18 US, 26 Canadian, and I think this would make really beautiful decor. I have another little plant. Woo -woo. And this one says 20 bucks as well. Sometimes the plants are a little in, like they differ in prices. I got this really cool bunt pan. I love the vintage stuff. I don't think you understand my kitchen. I'm not going to show it because it's not done yet, but I did like this faux like bar thing where I have the chalkboards and a fake menu and a bunch of random things because for some reason I like to live in a dive bar. But this one looks so good on top. Ooh, it's good on top. So now let's move on because this video is getting real long real quick. Now, my friends, these are items that were just marked down to $4. They did have the sticker that said $4 grab bag, but you just got one item. So I got this really cool sign that says hand dipped 10 cents and it's a little float. This is broken and I didn't realize it, the little straw, but I bought it for the playhouse because Aria, every time she's in the place, Playhouse, she screams out, ice cream, ice cream. That's how she says ice cream. So she thinks she's selling ice cream, and I think they're gonna make beautiful pictures. She's so good at playing golf. Like, so good at playing. <laughs> the next thing that was four bucks, and this I thought was so cool, and my husband made fun of me because clearly somebody wrote on it. It is this giant. Ugh. Hey, it's this giant. Uh, calendar thing. This was originally, it doesn't say. I'd have to look online, but this is galvanized on the side, on the side, really, 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 really big. Somebody already wrote on it and some stuff is scratched off, but I think that I can fix that. I don't think this is going to go to waste. Just knocking everything down. The next thing that I bought was this other giant galvanized board and I think that would look really good um, next to the other one like a command center if you put them both together and then a bunch of mini little chalkboards or little hanging things. I've made so many command centers on this channel and they've all been given away. There's one that I still have in my entryway and that one I use all the time but I feel like if we move into a bigger house which we need to and I have a nice entryway this is going to be awesome. The next item, and I promise we're getting to the end, bear with me now, is this giant bad boy. This is the one that my husband really made fun of me for because when I bought it, I realized it's broken. So I really do look like I live in a dive bar. I'm going to do one quick sweep to see if I'm forgetting anything because I am insane and bought too many things. Oh yeah, this item. This actually was in one of the bags, but my husband had to take it out because it was scraping against something and we realized it's because it is broken. So they did sell me something broken, but that's okay. You can always order these little spigot things on Amazon. This was originally 20, 25 Canadian, and it's a little bird. How cute is that? And it's a really nice size. I will add everything up and let you guys know, but I definitely feel like this was worth it. So this was 28, I wanna say it was either 28, it was either 28 or 32 dollars. I'm not 100% sure, but just the command center alone is totally worth it. I think I just knocked my camera out of the frame. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to call your Michaels and ask them if they have the grab bags if you are interested in scooping these up. Don't just go on a wild goose chase because they go very, very quickly. Most associates are super nice and will tell you where they are as soon as you get on the phone with them. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'll be on the lookout for if you've heard of $4 grab bags. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and I will see you on the next one.